To what's up guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Rimuru in Akame Ga Kill by Alex Kuhr 360 Chapter 3, Starting Life in Another World. It has been a few hours that I have been talking with Akame, after she explained what the Tigu were we have mostly been talking about food. I was able to tell very quickly that she really likes meat, I like meat too, but she seems to have some kind of fixation with meat, she even started talking about what danger beasts have the best tasting meat and how best to cook it, I was pretty surprised how she went along with me but I guess in this world a lot of crazy shit happens and it is best to just go with the flow. Even though she said she is assassin I can tell that she does care a lot and is deeply sad about her dead friends, I hope I can help her in such a sad time. I know I can't stay with her for a while but I hope I can have an enjoyable time while it lasts. I do owe her payment for all the information she gave me. Thank you for all your information. What would you like as payment? I can't give you those potions but I am sure I have something that is suitable as payment. It seems she is a little sad that I wouldn't give her any full potions, I can't let those get out though. The idea of being able to heal mortally wounded people instantly is very appealing and would be catastrophic if it got out for me. She quickly collects herself though. I'm not asking for it but can you tell me about your sword, it cut through your arm like butter after I was stopped at the bone. Well, that makes sense I guess, I obviously can't say it's made out of magic steel and attuned to my aura but what can I say? I guess I just have to say it is a steel made from a process unique to where I am from. Well, it is made from extremely expensive high carbon steel with a unique processing technique from where I am from. It also doesn't require a lot of maintenance either. I think I know something you may like as payment though, how about I teach you how to make those chips I gave you earlier, you seem to like them and even if they are not as good as meat variety is always good. If the assassin thing doesn't work out maybe you could start a shop selling them, I bet you could make a fortune. She predictably didn't seem to completely believe my explanation about my sword but it seems like the idea of teaching her to make chips made her happy and quickly nodded. Okay, so first you can make a few kinds, the two main type would either use potatoes or corn as the main ingredient. The tastes are different but I am sure you would like both of them very much, then to actually make them you have to. Author's note. Yeah I don't know how to make actually make chips lol. After explaining I took out some corn and potatoes I had picked up from some bandits yesterday and gave her a demonstration, I could see the focus in her eyes when it came to every detail of making the chips. After we finished and added some salt we tried them. It seemed like she liked both types of chips about the same amount, I don't have any salsa to go with the corn chips unfortunately but they are still good. Under her breath I can hear her speak quietly. How can there be food this good that isn't meat? I couldn't help but giggle hearing that, I will have to teach her that meat is just one part of a meal, even though it is the main part it should not sit alone. If you have a good meal you should want a piece of each part on your fork when you eat it so the favors can complement each other in your mouth. We should get going, I'm sure if she is an assassin and two of her teammates die she would have to report it quickly. We should get on our way, I'll go with you until you get to your destination since I'm not going anywhere in particular then I'll go back on my way. I could see she seemed sad about it but it would be an issue for me to show up at some assassin base with her as a nobody, I doubt it would end well for either of us. With that said she packs up the things she has and we start walking in a direction. After a few minutes we started talking about the terrain of the area and geography, after about 30 minutes I realized we might have been talking too loudly because there were around a dozen people watching us, since I didn't have my mask on I bet they thought they had just found two beautiful girls to toy with and sell, like I would let that happen. Is it fine if we just kill them, and steal their stuff? To my question she just nodded and then did a similar motion to when she attacked me last night where she unsheathes her sword and turns simultaneously while exploding with speed. After two seconds she had already slashed one mon's gut open, since it will never heal he will most definitely die. I just went and started fighting a few of them. Even if you ladies are strong, I'm sure we will break you just like the rest in time ha ha ha. I hope you two are virgins, that would make it even better. Ew dude, I might be a virgin but I'm a man god damn it. I also don't have a gender, and even if I did I would never do anything with losers like these guys. Even though I didn't hear anything I felt something like killing intent coming from me other than myself, is that great sage? Well, I guess I can use auto battle mode to finish these guys quickly, I'm still not used to killing humans. Activate auto battle mode and kill these guys as quickly as possible without using other abilities. 
Instantly I heard less than initializing auto battle mode. Active. Greater than. Instantly I took off towards the filth at speeds barley subsonic and in less than 5 seconds I had a pile of 8 heads on the ground in front of me and blood covering me. When I shut down auto battle mode I looked for Akame and saw her with the other four all with slashes on the chest and slit throats. I was already searching their pockets for money, I wasn't from this world okay. The only money I have is what I have taken from bandits and slavers that I have killed. Since I haven't been in a city since the first day I'm not sure about the currency in this country but I think I have a decent amount. After that I cleaned the blood off my face and we continued going. I am not familiar with the ethics in this world but I definitely makes me sad to see a teenage girl kill four people in seconds and not have any remorse of feelings. It is not her fault at all, it's just this crappy world I guess, I wish I were back home. With that we walked for the rest of the day, at night we cooked meat with chips. While we were talking about food again Akame told me something that made this world at least one million times better than it was before. This world has rice. With that I changed my priority list. 1. Eat rice and get seeds to eventually bring back to my world. 2. Get home. 3. Explore and learn about this world. Rice is an absolute game changer. I can already feel cravings for it. I have to stay rational though. I cannot let my mind get clouded with the idea of rice balls and fried rice. After dinner I could tell Akame was exhausted, after all it she didn't sleep last night, I don't need sleep but since she knows I didn't sleep last night either it would raise more questions than I would like if I didn't fake sleep. Akame why don't you get some sleep, I will take the first watch and then we can switch. This would be the real time to see if she really trusted me or not. I hope I have gained her trust enough since I know she is actually a good person even if she is a stone cold killer. We are all the products of our environments and I think it is wrong to judge someone for that entirely. Someone's character is much more important and I know Akame has a good character. After a minute of contemplating, she took off her black jacket and laid on the ground with it as a pillow. Within 10 seconds flat she was out like a light. Seeing someone who had so much on their shoulders and grief for their dead friends sleeping peacefully warmed my heart. I took out a blanket from my stomach and draped it over her then went to sit and come up with a plan for what to do in the future. After about 4 hours Akame woke up, she was startled because of the blanket but it seems like at this point didn't question it. Then while wiping her eyes she started talking. You can sleep now, I'll make breakfast as well for when you wake up. With that I took the blanket and laid down with my jacket as a pillow, I'll have to get a new outfit when I get to a city, this is much different from what people here wear. I think I will go with black, that seems to be the best for this world. While I'm sleeping, I notice Akame pick up my sword which I put to the side and take it out of the sheath. Hey that's rude to do that without asking. I guess with how mysterious I have been though it's not surprise, I'll let it go this once. After a few minutes of swinging it around and cutting some kind of animal with it she put it back. Since humans in this world do not possess any magic energy the magic steel shouldn't react to her at all. I suspect that some of these tigu might be able to give people a capacity for magical energy though, but that is just my hypothesis. After about two and a half hours I got up, it is boring pretending to sleep. When I got up I saw breakfast, which to nobody's surprise was meat. I'll admit Akame makes some mighty fine meat but eating it as 90% of your diet gets old pretty quick. I want some rice. If you can get me rice Akame I would eat all the meat you give me as long as I can have some rice with it, omg if they have soy sauce too. If I didn't want to get back to my world I would definitely become a chef here. After eating for a little we returned to our journey. In truth the forest was quite beautiful, we pasted the time while walking in a variety of ways, we played I spy with my little eye and some other car trip kind of games as we walked. Then after about another 4 hours of walking we reach what looked like a decent sized town, according to Akame this is where she is heading. After walking for a little I looks like this is where we are going to part ways. When she stops I can tell she is sad to say bye, I am too. Since coming to this world she was the only one who didn't try to attack me. Wait cancelled that she did attack me, but still okay, she is my only friend and I don't want to just leave either. She turns around and starts talking to me with a sad look in her eyes. Okay we are here, so what will you do now? Then I decide to tell her the plan I landed on last night. I'm going to become an assassin. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee